So I just had to pull over to get a view of, uh, of Kings Canyon here. And you can see the road, it just goes right up in there. So that's where we're going. <laughs> I had to pull over again really quick just because I wanted to show you the road. <laughs> the road is just hanging on the side of this cliff here. <laughs> it's, uh, well, if you enjoy driving along cliffs, this is your road right here. <laughs> I turn this way a little bit. <laughs> I was driving up the canyon to go see Roaring Falls and I saw this sign for Boyden Cavern and just hey why not why not just stop and see what it is. So I have a ticket for the three o'clock and that's over a half an hour away so I got myself a little snack uh, I was able to find my tank -a bar and some Gatorade in my hiking pack. <laughs> okay. So I stepped back away from the river a little bit so you could hear, but <laughs> this isn't actually in the National Park. This is in the Sequoia National Forest and it's still a few more miles to get up back into Kings Canyon National Park. <laughs> but this is such a gorgeous canyon. Oh my God, the rocks in all directions. It's just really, really gorgeous here. going in the river now. This is the river. It's cold. It's cold. Lots of ducking. Yeah, this is the exit. So. <laughs> Oops. 
don't know if you can see me. <laughs> you gotta uh, squeeze through. <laughs> I'm hunched over to get through here. Okay, oh, you It's definitely deep here. <laughs> okay, this is much deeper. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, this was pretty spectacular, even though I had to do it with the GoPro. <laughs> what wet feet look like <laughs> well how awesome was that <laughs> pretty awesome right I ended up using my GoPro because I didn't want to take the really big camera because well for one it's not always very good in low light and two I didn't know like how tight some of the spaces would be and I didn't want to be too conspicuous anyway we got to get up to our final destination which is Roaring Falls so all right, Roaring Falls, here we come. All right, we're here. Roaring River Falls. <laughs> I love the Sierras, they're so gorgeous. Beautiful view. <laughs> so glad 
I came up here. There's this beautiful ponderosa pine just grasping at the rocks here. <laughs> it's huge. So it's obviously getting everything it needs. <laughs> All right. Had a little gust of wind there, but I think it's time to start heading back. I just love these mountains. They never get old. Just gorgeous. Well, all right. So I'm going to just drive up to the end of the road. It's only a few miles more up. And yeah, just see what's up there. Uh, this is the only paved road in Kings Canyon National Park that I know of. Well, I mean in this big section, the biggest one. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to the very end and then head home. <laughs> So do you see this pile of rocks right here on the side of the road? So that to me looks like a moraine, a very small moraine. So this entire valley would have been filled with a glacier 10,000 years ago and more. And a moraine is essentially the debris at the very front of a glacier that gets pushed along. And when a glacier disappears or when it retreats, oh, there's bumps on this road. <laughs> When a glacier retreats, it will leave some small moraines one after the other as it, you know, it'll push forward and then retreat and push forward and retreat. So, yeah, that to me looks, and here's another one. So we're kind of driving over the top of some of these. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's like a mini moraine from uh, the very end of the glacier's life that was in this valley. All right, this is Road's End. Uh, there's like these big, huge peaks. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Yosemite. Man, I love these granite, uh, granite walls. Anyway, this is kind of a jumping off point for a lot of really, really great hikes. If you're a hiker, this is a place you'll probably want to get to at some point. And here's a little baby sequoia, just a, maybe a teenager. Oh, so beautiful. I love the sequoias. All right, let's get back and uh, make some food. <laughs> All right, I'm back at camp <laughs> and I'm just gonna rush and get dinner ready because uh, yeah, I just, uh, it's, the sun will go down in about half an hour, so. Um, I'm just gonna have these, uh, some Trader Joe's. These are my two favorites, uh, Tika and these uh, Madras lentils. 
And what I do is I just uh, make this uh, yellow rice and I pour this over the yellow rice and it's super, super delicious. It's super good. All pre-prepared pretty much. Well, I mean, you got to cook the rice, but... All right, probably not the best presentation ever, but uh, yeah, this is it. This is dinner. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. So the trick with the tikka vegetables is to definitely add some hot sauce, at least for me. I like it a little spicy. And so put a little hot sauce in there and woo. <laughs> Mm. It's actually really good. When I took it out of the pack, it didn't look so great, but it tastes good. It tastes very good. I, I'm a big fan of the Trader Joe's. Mm. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> look at me, living my Beck's life. <laughs> There's a little bug here, sitting on the picnic table bench, accompanying me for dinner. <laughs> I do appreciate the company, I do. <laughs> well, how awesome is this? Just seeing the very last of the sunlight peek through the trees. Yeah, when I left Road's End, I was really concerned. I didn't think I'd get back in time to eat and everything before the sun went down, but yeah, here I am. <laughs> so it all worked out. Oh, and that cavern was really cool. I really wish I had my phone. My phone would have been a much better camera in that dark cavern. But, yeah, my phone is broke. It's gone. A $700 phone just broke. Left it sitting on the table here in the sun for like 45 minutes. And, yeah, the sun murdered my phone. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm going to say good evening. Yeah, I hope your day was as fantastic as mine. <laughs> Yeah, good night. <laughs>